foundation before. Okay. And I use it after. Because sometimes, like with the blonde wigs, they have like the white undertone. Yeah. And you, it might look good when you're putting it on, but you know, that eventually comes back. So. Now we all know nothing beats a good old visit to the hair salon. But nowadays, with the help of Instagram and YouTube tutorials, a lot of us are taking measures into our own hands. Doing hair at home has become a commonly wide trend, and to help ensure that our hair stays on fleek at all times, whether we are at home or getting it done at the salon, here are some celebrity hairstylist tips. Foundation before or after the wig? Mm. Mm. That It can be both. Okay. Like, I feel like if it's a blonde wig, mm -hmm. I use foundation before. Okay. And I use it after. Because sometimes, like, with the blonde wigs, they have, like, the white undertone. Yeah. And you, it might look good when you're putting it on, but, you know, that eventually comes back. So Got you it. can use, like, a um, a matte HD foundation. Okay. I like to use Ben Nye. And I just okay. dab, like, I get my shade and I just dab it a little bit, just a little bit. And you just put it right on your lace and it, like, okay. makes it look like skin. To mm -hmm. pluck yeah. or not to pluck? Oh. Oh, you got the plug. You got the plug, baby. <laughs> what the plug? You got the plug. Okay, you got the plug, honey. You don't when wanna... do you know it's enough plucking? When do you know? You just have an eye for it. Okay. Like, I yeah. feel like the more you do it, you enough. Yeah. Okay. Like, and I pluck, I have so many different plucking techniques. Okay. Like, but I, in my class, I teach, like, a, you know, a basic plucking technique that works for anyone. Okay. So, you enough. I like to use uh, blue base bleach, because that pulls more cooler tones and not warmer tones. Um, and then I like to use 30 volume developer. Oh. And I use it, and I, I let it sit on for about 15, 20 minutes. Now with blonde, mm -hmm. like 613, yeah. um, I don't bleach it at all. Yeah. I just tint it, like okay. with the foundation. Great tip for like perfectly flat iron hair that like no hair is out of place. Prep the hair with product before blow drying. If you notice her part is like really, really perfect, is because I parted it while her hair was wet. After blow drying, I took a flat iron and on each section, I sprayed a finely mist hairspray so that it really smooths out the cuticles as I go down. So if you're gonna try this at home, you actually don't necessarily need a hot tool. You can prep your hair overnight by braiding your hair, take it out of the braid, and it'll kind of give that kind of like 70s, messy feel to the hair. I recommend human hair as opposed to synthetic hair because you are not able to curl synthetic hair. And with human hair, if you get really good quality ones, you can reuse them time and time again. It looks like her hair is kind of bouncing as she walks. And the way that that happens is by not putting too much product in the hair. If you're gonna use hairspray, you wanna use something that kind of has a fine mist and something that you're able to brush through the hair. So a tip that I like to use for flyaways, I like to use a makeup blush brush, you guys. And I spray a little bit of hairspray on the blush brush, and then I put it over the top of the hair. Use big pieces if you want that wavy. Yes, yes, you don't want to be, yes. You can use a big barrel iron. Okay. I like to start curling from the root down. Okay. That gives you that looser wave look. And no hairspray, no, 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 no. like product. You don't want to use hairspray okay. yet, not when you're curling, because that's going to give you that stiff heart. No, no one wants look, that. And we want bouncy. You need to apply your wig over the hairline to make sure that you're not getting glue or any sort of adhesive right on top of the hair, because you can your hair can break off. I think once you start seeing your hair has become too damaged, okay. and once you start seeing that like, it's breaking off, it's getting really brittle, and it's getting to a point where it's unmanageable to comb through and the detangling process is like unmanageable, I think it might be time to do the big chop. Individuals aren't the greatest or, you know, they may experience like tension in their head. Yeah. So like individuals can cause tension at times. So I hear some people saying that their hair breaks off and things like that. So I wouldn't necessarily re recommend a protective style like that. So I would recommend cornrows or a wig and or a weave or something of that nature. <laughs> Best way to moisturize straighten hair without weighing it down. I usually use like a really light amount of oil, especially on, again, finer textures because a lot of the clients I work with have finer texture hair. Mm -hmm. So I try to use a light amount of oil, still some sort of oil, but not as heavy as like, a, a super heavy leave-in conditioner or like the same amount of oil you'd use in your hair because it wouldn't need the same amount of moisture. Right. It still need moisture, just not the same amount. Got what it. are you spraying the flyaways with? Just a humidity blocking hairspray to kind of protect it from the heat, mm -hmm. but still hold it together. So I use this sleek and shine um, heat protectant that has like 
argan oil in it that has shea butter in it. And so what I use, I use, before I started this, I blow dried the hair out, use that on it, and then started flat ironing it, and then started curling it. For a style like this, I think the easiest thing to do, yeah. two strand twist that night, okay. tie it up in a bonnet, yes. and then you're good to go. Well, these have become one of my favorite brushes because it has that tip, the point on yeah. the edges. So I think try to find either something with a tip point and or um, and or a um, like a like a comb attached to it because they, they've yeah. been having a lot of those lately. I think yeah. those are pretty cool to use. And then just make sure you're following the motion of the hairline. I like to always detangle before washing. Um, I find that if your hair is matted, it's really not going to do its job properly. So I just like to get in there, use my fingers, and just really separate any sort of tangle. You just really want to make sure the product is really going to penetrate into your, your hair. The benefits of the steamer is that it really just helps the product penetrate into your, your hair and it just softens your hair. tips were helpful. You all now know how to take care of your natural hair as well as implement some styling tips and tricks into your weaves or wigs. Of course, the full links to all of these videos will be down below in the description box as well as each of these celebrity stylists Instagram so that you can stay connected with them and gain more tips and tricks. If anybody has any questions about the hair that I am wearing, this is JHA's Raw Indian Curly Hair and the link to this hair will be down below in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay blessed.